Greetings and salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a daytime lifestyle. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a hot second. How is everyone doing today? Happy... Wait, what day is it today? Thursday? Oh my gosh, Thursday, October 6, 2022. Uh, let's see who's in here. Uh, oh, there's Jay Sweet. There's Dawn. There's Diana. Hi, Tanya. Oh, you have to go to the dentist. I actually really like going to the dentist. Uh, <laughs> that's like a really weird. Oh, uh, hi, Elizabeth. How's it going? Veronica. There's Melissa. Hello. Hi, guys. There's Edie. Hi, Edie. Hope you're doing well today. Hi, Norma. How are you guys doing on a Thursday morning? Hi, Vita. Does anyone have anything exciting planned for this weekend? Anyone doing anything fun? Sorry, I am late yet again. I got caught up. I was putting up our curtains. Um, we take them down a couple times a year, and we usually take them, like, we usually wash them right before, like, all the holidays start from, like, October to December, and then, like, we'll probably wash them and then put them up again, uh, like, mid to end of January. Um, but it is a process because they are like these linen drapes and they wrinkle so easily but this is the first time I started using a handheld steamer and the steamer gets them looking so good I used to have to iron them but then like you iron them and then you have to like even if I just fold them really nicely or whatever and they just get wrinkled again so like they're always like a little bit wrinkly no matter what but with the steamer, you can get them looking really, really good. And I'm so excited. Um, the old steamer that I had was, like, good. But it was, like, attached to, like, this contraption that was, like, it had wheels and it was, like, on the floor. And you could never get it all the way up because the curtains go all the way up to the ceiling. But this handheld one, I just have, like, an extension cord on it. And I can get all the way to the top. Uh, the only thing is, like, I have to refill the tank maybe, like, six or seven times per panel. But the panels are really big. I think they're 100 inches by 120. So they are massive. But my god, I've never had crisper curtains in my life. So I'm so excited. Um, let's, oh, sorry. I like totally missed all of your chats in here. Um, oh, Diana, I totally forgot to reply to you. I saw it like in the middle of the night. And I was, like, passing out, but um, I will reply to you later on. Oh, Tanya, I'm sorry. It's always, like, you get one bad experience with, like, a dentist, and then it's, like, you're traumatized for life. Oh, Don, I'm glad you like them. Oh, my gosh, congratulations, Diana. Oh, your daughter got engaged. That's amazing. Hi, Robin, over in New York City. How are you? Did you see Santa Barbara? Oh, that's going to be exciting, Vita. Ton Wait, what did you say, Vitrine? Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh, do they have the cord? No, I've seen the cordless steamers. <gasps> that would actually be amazing. But I feel like the water... Um, things on those would be like even smaller but it is literally so amazing that steamer uh my sister gave it to me i think it was either i don't even remember when she gave it to me it was either for christmas or like my birthday but it is amazing like i've never i, I was i i never really thought i would use it for the curtains because like i don't know i always thought i'd probably use it in conjunction with ironing them but then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it and steam it. And then this is my first time using the steamer on it, so. You didn't reply. Oh, Robin, you sent an email too? Oh, goodness. What did you send the email, Robin? I don't think I saw yours. Let's see. I just want to make sure that I see it because sometimes it gets put into, like, my trash thing. Let's 
Robin, I don't see an email from you. Let me see. Can you maybe send it again? I don't know if it maybe went into my trash or my, my junk email or something. Oh, Jay Sweet, I'm glad you like the daytime sales. I'm sorry I haven't even started yet. Um, but. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hi, Lady Badger. How are you? My gosh, my like. I have like a itch, like right here. That's like weird. Okay. Um, oh, oh, first of all, let me do the giveaway really quickly so that I can put that up and then we can get started. Okay, so this is the link. Oh, I need a question. Um, if anyone has like a good question for the giveaway, let me know. But our giveaway today is I'm going to give away this really cute little Kipling crossbody bag. It's in this really fun magenta fabric. It's pretty much brand new condition. Um, it just doesn't have the little monkey, which makes me sad. But it's a, such a cute little bag. Perfect for just like if you're just like on the run to like the grocery store, post office, or maybe to the park or whatever. You just need like a little bag with you to hold a couple items. So cute. So this is today's giveaway. Robin. I'm doing well, Lady Badger. Thank you so much. I have my coffee. We, we actually ran out of like our regular coffee pods, which we're getting a delivery today. But um, these, this is supposed to be like two espresso shots. And I just filled it up with creamer. <laughs> but Robin, you thrifted a brand new steamer. Lucky. I've been looking for one at the thrift store, but I haven't been finding like any new ones or ones that look like they are in good condition. Okay. Oh, my phone's going crazy. Hi, Ren. Hi, Lily Gal. Oh, you're all the way in Florida. Are you doing okay? I know Florida has been really, like, out of control recently. So I hope you're doing well. Robin Venezia. What is the best treasure you've thrifted? DG House, how do you decorate for Halloween? Oh, Robin Wireless, you are a lucky lady. I'm jealous. Mm, I think we've done the best thrift treasure question a couple times, so I do always like asking that question. But I do want to know how you guys decorate for fall or Halloween, or if you guys if you guys actually do decorate, or if you just like leave, um, leave it as is. So let's do that question. I like that one. DG House, thank you so much. Um, but Robin, let's we'll probably do that one again, like maybe even this weekend, because I always like finding out like what you guys thrifted or like what's your most recent thrift or something. Oh my gosh, I actually need the. I just like randomly found a receipt that I had on the floor and I actually needed this. Because I was gonna return a pair of shorts that I bought that didn't actually fit. Um, where is my bag? So I don't need this. Okay, let me just throw this in there. Okay, perfect. In Broward. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad you're doing all right, Lily Gal. Okay, so, again, today's giveaway, this little Kipling crossbody bag in magenta. And then let me leave that link again right here. Oh, yeah, and if you guys could give the video a thumbs up, it always helps the channel immensely. And if you could um, go and give that video a thumbs up as well. It was this morning's YouTube, um, like, regular thrifting video. And then at the end of today's live sale, I'm going to be announcing our winner. Okay, 
Let me call back Vadrian because Vadrian's phone went crazy. If you guys are wondering who I'm talking to, it's Vadrian, my virtual assistant in my ear. It's like the virtual me. And they help me with the pricing and shipping and all that goodness. So, is your phone working now? Okay, perfect. All right, well, let's get started. Also, um, what else are going to tell you guys? Oh, National Handbag Day is this coming Monday. So I thought I would just let you guys know. <laughs> I want to do something fun. I keep forgetting whenever like there's a holiday of any sorts that I think is really cool. Um, I always forget to tell you guys about it. Like I totally miss National Thrifting Day. So um, we can't miss National Handbag Day. I the only thing like, I wanted to do a sale on that day, but my cousin is actually going to be here visiting, so I can't do one on Monday. And um, so I was thinking like we'll celebrate this coming Saturday. So Saturday night, we're going to celebrate. It's going to be National Handbag Day for us. And I thought we'd do something fun. So I haven't figured out what the fun thing is. Um, all I know is I want to hang out with you guys. And it'll be super fun. And yeah, so National Handbag Day is this coming Monday. So mark your calendars. Because <laughs> I know if you guys are here, you're a handbag lover. So we got to celebrate National Handbag Day. Maybe I'll even film like... A handbag collection video just for hand national handbag day but I don't think I can do my whole collection so let me know what collection you guys want to see um, do you guys want to see um, like what collection of my bags it can be like a brand or like a style like small cross bodies large totes let me know um, and oh Edie I'm glad I think all I think all of the giveaways should be up to date now, um, right, Vadrian? You see, you sent out all the ones that you had. Okay, yeah. So I believe all the giveaways should be up to date already for, and you should have received like an email or something with a tracking. Yes, right, Diana. National Handbag Day. So Monday, get ready because it's gonna be a great day. Loewe or Chanel. <laughs> Those are my two favorite brands right now. Olio, oh, Celine. Celine is good, too. I do love Celine. I definitely don't have as many Celine bags as I do um, other brands. I think I only have, like, a, a handful of Celine bags. Oh, Don, I'm glad. Doonies, Doonies, and more Doonies. Oh, Doonies. Vintage Doonies the best. Oh, the boys are back from school. It's so funny that uh, Zach and Elizo, they started like a new school schedule this year and they start school like super early. Um, I think school for them starts like at 7.30 and then they have half days and then on their half days they get home like before lunchtime. So it's really funny. Hold on. Do you guys want to say hi to them? Elizo! Elizo! Zachary Binks! You want to say hi to the live? Are you driving? Yeah, come here. I have my shoes on. Oh, take off your shoes first. And don't be careful not to step on the bags. Just jump to me and I'll catch you. DJ has a question. Do you, sp do you stick on it? Yeah. Ooh, a leather long ch leather long chomps are the best. Wait, no, DJ House. Hi, Caffeine. But DJ no, that's DJ House. She had the question for today. So, how do you decorate? Are you ready to decorate? For, 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 wait, are you going to do the spider webs with me later? Mm, yes. Yes. Once I finish my homework. Once you finish your homework. And go back from the park. We're gonna go back. Oh, you guys are going to the park. Oh, Eliza, take off your shoes first, please. Eliza, shoes off, please. My shoes off, please. Shoes off because we're gonna go back out. Oh. You're gonna go back out. Hey, be careful. Do Come not... Come on, Eliza. Paula, Jeffrey, they say hello, ladies. I'm not a lady. She's talking to the other ladies. Oh. Dr. Taylor Thomas. Ow, 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 ow. This is Eliza. from Unique. Eliza, come here. Jump over here, Eliza. Why did you... Don't jump over here so you have your thumb Oh, sorry. I have my leg up. You did that to uh, me. And it stabbed here, my... Ah! It ah! stabbed my... my. This is my little <laughs> angel, Eliza, and my little angel, Thackeray Banks. stabbed my whip... 
J J J Sweet. I get. I oh, perfect, J Sweet. Uh, Eddie, how you the boys? Where are you guys going to go to the park right now? Yeah, we're going to go. Oh, okay. You guys go to the park, and then when you come back, <laughs> we're going to put the spider webs. Wait, Zachary, did you grab your scooter already? Are you excited for the spiders? We we'll did decorate the webs. Oh yeah, you tell them how you're gonna decorate. I could decorate with webs and spiders. And? But there's only like one pumpkin right now. Are we? Um, are we gonna get the rest of the pumpkins from the storage? Yeah. Okay. Inside the garage. They're not inside the garage. They're in the storage. <laughs> you oh you you have to ask Uncle Johnny to go get them with me. Alright, sorry guys. The boys were saying hi, and now they're gonna go. They're actually gonna go to the park. You're gonna go to the park, right, Eliza? Ooh, are you guys gonna scooter? You're gonna scooter? They're gonna go scooter to the park. It's gonna be super cute. Um, when they, or once the live finishes later after they finish the homework too, we're going to start decorating the front of the house. And. I bought, I was able to get spider webs, which is all, they always sell out. I literally bought these, like, the beginning, of, like, I think, like, last month, like, in September, but I bought a bunch of these spider webs so that they can go crazy, because, I don't know, the spider webs are always their favorite part for some reason, and I have, like, these giant spiders, which are probably one of their favorite, like, outdoor decorations. Here, Zachary. You keep keep these safe. This is the spider webs. Thank you. You guys ma start mapping out where you're going to put them. Let's put them on the plants. You're going to put them on the plants? Large, large mm -hmm. Perfect. Put this? Just put them by the door. That way we have them ready for when you guys are ready to go decorate. Eliza, do you see the spider webs? I gave them to Zachary. I'll eat. <laughs> They're really excited. But yeah, we're gonna decorate with the spider webs first. I still haven't been able to get the rest of our um, our Halloween decorations in the storage. I went to go try to retrieve them, but it was gonna be really, really intense, and I was like, uh, I don't want to do this by myself. So I was like. I got to go there with John so he can help me move all the boxes because when we were moving all this stuff into our new storage unit, I I tried to keep in mind that I was going to have to get decorations at the end of the year, but um, towards the very end, I kind of just stuffed everything in there. So there's like a, a good amount of stuff that's right in front of all of my decorations. So I'm going to have to move everything out to retrieve them and it was just going to be a lot Yo, Cooch, is a spider. There's a spider? On my scooter. On your scooter? You can put it outside with your spider webs. Mm -hmm. No, it's stuck. It's an actual spider. An actual? Is it a daddy long legs? What kind of spider? Oh, it's a brown one. A brown one? It wasn't long. It was a short. Okay, I will be right back. The Thank kids you, need me to deal with a spider. <laughs> Um, here, let me leave the link again really quickly for the giveaway. Make sure you guys enter, and I'll be back in, like, two minutes. Why did you have to spam it, like, 15 times? Huh? So that they can see it. All right, I'll be right back. There's a spider on Eliza's scooter.
my mom's over there, and I was like, if you see any spiders, tell Grandma to get them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. <laughs> I was like, you guys got to jump on your scooters to shake off the spiders outside. And they were like, they were like, look at these tricks that we can do. It was really funny. Uh, okay, so I apologize. I'm back. But <laughs> kids are the craziest. Um... Oh, that's amazing to hear, Ca Caffeine Addict. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well now. We're definitely sending you our positive thoughts and prayers, though. But that's that's amazing. The kids, the kids are, like, knocking on my window. Okay, well, let's get started. I, I apologize. We're, like, having such, like, crazy morning, but... This is always how it is here. <laughs> um, our first item is going to be, let's do, oh, let me do this really cute tote first. Um, this one is a Tory Burch laser cut tote. It's super cool. It's like perforated and it has like this geometric design. And this is in a navy, like, uh, coated canvas that looks like patent leather. And it is beautiful. It has a little uh, Tory Burch luggage tag right here. And it says, I'm lost without. And then you can put, like, your information right there. I thought this was a really cute touch. You can even use this on, like, regular luggage that you may have as well. Here's the bottom. And I just filled it up so you can kind of, like, see the perforation, like the design, but it's in perfect condition in the inside. There's no stains or marks or anything. There's no pockets though. So this is going to be item number one. This is our to Oh, Mama Miss Lang's in here. Hi, Mama Miss Lang. How are you? But this is our Tory Burch tote. Also, the strap is long enough to carry on your shoulder, but it's going to be like if you're wearing like a coat or anything, it's going to be a little bit more of a tighter squeeze, but I have a larger arm and it does fit on my shoulder. So you can definitely wear it on your shoulder as well. It's a good horizontal or vertical um, shape style too. So you can really fill this guy up with a good amount of stuff. And that's gonna be item number one, our perforated Tory Burch perforated navy uncoated canvas patent tote. And this one's going to be how much for Adrian? And it's in really good condition, you guys. It just has, like, very minimal, if any, like, wear on it at all. Um, we're going to do this guy for just $55. And that's going to be item number one. Our Tory Birch Tote. All right. And number two is going to be... Oh, do we have anyone that's like a size six? Because I, I have the cutest shoes for you guys. And I was like so excited to find these. And um, they fit my sister like perfectly. But um, <laughs> she's going to kill me for telling you guys. But I think we already told you guys about it before. She has like, um, she's, she's, she was like in dance for like years and years. So now she has, like, a slight bunion, and, like, she hates the way her feet look in these shoes, because, like, it's, like, right where her bunion is, and it kind of sticks out. So, um, but I have the cutest vintage Prada, like, little heels. These are a size 6, and they're so, so cute. Uh, it has, like, this cool, like, buckle kind of detail on the front, and this is in, um... I think it's black. Yeah. So it's like a black leather. And then this is a fabric. It's like, um, like an, almost like a, it, it's almost like a, it's not a tweed. I think it's almost like a, maybe like a linen, some sort of woven um, fabric. This is in navy. And then it has a black buckle. And then it has the gold Prada 
right there. Then it has that contrasting stitching, which is really cute. Diana. Diana, you know I can um I can always make you a listing to like purchase on Depop. And then that way you can just pay with like a regular credit card. Just like a regular payment that's not through PayPal or anything. We can always do that. I was actually gonna email you that right now. Um when I saw your email the or last night. Um if you want, I can always make a listing on like PayPal, Mercari, Poshmark, wherever you want, and you guys can purchase that way if you don't want to do anything through like the PayPal invoice or if you can't do anything through the PayPal invoice. So I can always do that option as well. But here are our little shoes. They are so, so cute. This is about, I think, a two and a half inch. It's a two and a half inches. Um, yeah. Yeah, these are about a two and a half inch heel height. And the shoes are in pretty good condition. The bottoms do not have like too much wear. The rubber pieces on the ends are still in really good shape. And again, these are a size 36. They fit like a size 6. And they're in really, really good vintage condition. So this is our vintage Prada heels in black leather, navy fabric, and gold hardware. Size 36 fits size 6 and we're gonna do these for $75 Oh Veronica, yeah <laughs> It's funny like my mom she can fit like the front of her foot into these shoes perfectly and she wears like a size eight and a half so like my mom actually has like a pretty like yeah, it's like she has like some not like super small like feet, but like in the front, like her, I don't know, can't even describe it, but they're so, so cute. Oh, Norma's calling it. Congratulations, Norma. You are one lucky lady. These shoes are so cute. Congratulations. First sale of the day. It's going to our friend Norma for these beautiful Pradas. All right, up next, we're going to go to number three. All right. Um, oh, you know what? I have this um, amazing... Ted Baker dress and I know I'm so sorry I've been looking I'm trying to find like larger sizes but literally like everything I find is always like a size zero to four or something but um this is a beautiful Ted Baker dress and I love that it has like this little collar I think it's so cute this is in a size two and it's in this like sparkly fabric it's so cute it's knee it's um knee length and then it has a kind of like a three-fourth kind of sleeve right there and it is so pretty it has like this striping it's white black and then at the very bottom it has like a green stripe as well and then it has this really cute collar it is in really great shape um and it's so sparkly and fun too so this is going to be item number three. This is our Ted Baker um, black and white glitter dress, knee length. And these are, this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $35. Again, this is in a size two, okay? And it's such a cute party dress, like a holiday dress. It would be so fun. And it'll look really good in photos, too. My sister, like, tried it on. She's like, this is actually really cute. But isn't it such a pretty dress? And... Oh, Norma's calling it. Norma, congratulations! <laughs> Yay! It's such a pretty dress. You're gonna really, really like this one. Okay, so that's our Ted Baker dress. And 
let's continue on to the next. Number four. Okay. Let's do, let's do a baggy bag. Oh, speaking about vintage Dooney and Burke, this one is beautiful, and I'm, like, kind of obsessed with the color combo. I think it's going to be really pretty for fall this year. And this is a vintage Dooney and Burke shoulder bag. I think you might even be able to get away with wearing it crossbody. Hold on, let me see. It might be a little bit of a shorter. Okay, you can kind of wear it like a crossbody, but it's going to be really high. But you can definitely wear it as a shoulder bag. It is really, really cute. It's in, it looks like a denim, but it's like a, you know, it's like that woven um, like canvas fabric. But it looks like it's like a denim color. And then I love this like plum color, like almost like an eggplant purple. It's really pretty with the yellow contrasting stitching and the brass hardware. Uh, on right here on the front, it just has little Dooney and Burke logo with the Made in USA stamping right there. The interior is nice and clean. I have a little silica gel packet inside of there. Um, the interior is nice and clean, just like that. Um, there is one interior zipper pocket right there, and our little um, Dooney and Burke tag is right inside there in the corner. Here is the back, and then we have little feet on the bottom. There is a little bit of like a, looks like a water stain kind of thing right there in that one bottom piece, but it's on the bottom. It's not really too noticeable, but... It, that's pretty much the only flaw on the bag. Um, I think, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera because it's black on black, but there's like a, like a pen mark right there. But the fabric is black, so you're not really gonna see it, but if you look hard, you can see it right there. But other than that and the watermark, this is in wonderful vintage condition. And yeah. And it also has like the solid brass stamping on the hardware too. Just right there. Right, Diana? I agree. Monty Pants yesterday for Oh my gosh, caffeine addict, you have to show me. I wanna see your um the Chinese cabinet. Especially if you've been searching for it for 15 years, it must be really, really good. I love like cool vintage furniture. But it's so hard to find anything like that here. I feel like um, all that stuff gets like s like swooped up by um, furniture like resellers and stuff. Or like restorers. And I can never find anything cool like that. So this is our vintage Dooney and Burke made in USA. Um, shoulder bag in blue with... Uh, plum purple leather trim and brass hardware. Okay, and I'm going to do this guy um, for $50. That's going to be item number four. And yes, okay. That's item number four. Such a cool vintage piece. Hi Shiloh, welcome to the live sales. How are you? I love your name, Shiloh. It's really pretty. But this is item number four. Hi, oh, Marilyn. How are you? And let's go on to the next. So that's our beautiful vintage Dooney and Burke. Uh, number five. Norma, see, Norma wants to see it too. We all want to see that cabinet. Oh, if you send me a photo, Caffeine Addict, um, if you like email it to me, I can post it right here so everyone can see it if you wanted to send me a picture of your cabinet. No pressure though. <laughs> but we, we were all really curious. We wanted to see what it looks like. 
you know, my other love, other than handbags and stuff, is furniture. So, love, love, love the beautiful furniture pieces. All right. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Okay, so item number five. Jay Sweet's calling number four. Congratulations, Jay Sweet. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let me mark that one down. Oh, no worries. <laughs> All right, number five. We have this beautiful MZ Wallace satchel. This is in black nylon. And then it has black leather trim, like on the handles and um, on like the little connector pieces. And then gold hardware. MZ Wallace bags are so great. These are such awesome travel bags as well. There are so many compartments on the front alone. Like, okay, there's one, two, three compartments, right? And then on the back, we have another huge pocket right here. So it is a great, great bag. Oh, we got a pocket right here and a pocket right here too. So you can put like two water kind of pockets on the sides and the interior. This is actually a really good diaper bag too, if you wanted to use that as a diaper bag. Inside is nice and clean. Um, there's a zipper pocket. There's an open kind of like a card pocket right there. A key fob. And then on the other side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six pockets um, on the other side. And the long shoulder straps are amazing. So you can carry this on your shoulder really easily. And then... You have the crossbody strap, adjustable and removable. And this bag is in great pre-love condition. Um, the nylon on the exterior is in amazing shape. And the inside is nice and clean. I don't even think there are any pen marks in here at all. Yeah, no pen marks on the interior. Uh, just want to make sure. Oh, other than this. Inside the pocket right here, the zipper pocket, there's a pen mark inside the pocket of the interior pocket so there's a pen mark right there but um there's even more compartments inside of the zippered pocket so there's two pockets inside the zippered pocket and that pen mark is inside like the pocket so you're not even going to see it unless you like open up that pocket to look but this is going to be item number five okay so this is um hi love how are you black nylon MZ Wallace tote or satchel. Oh yeah, it would be a great gym bag too. Okay, we're gonna do this guy for $65. That's gonna be item number five. I know these bags, I think they retail for like around like I don't know, 450, 500. I know MZ Wallace bags are pretty pricey, but they last forever and they are such great quality. Um, up next, what are we going to do? Okay. Oh, it looks like O'Maryland is calling it number five. <laughs> Congratulations, O'Maryland. I think you were looking for a diaper bag, right? This would be perfect for a diaper bag. All right. We're on to item number six now. All right, congratulations, O'Marilyn. What a great, great bag. It's fantastic. All right. Next up, let's do... Oh, I have a little wallet for you guys. Now, this is a wallet wristlet, and this is a Kate Spade. It is in black pebbled leather with gold hardware. We have the removable wristlet right here. There's a back pocket right there and also a front little pocket right here on the top flap and then you open it up you have a bunch of card slots right there and this is um you can put your phone in here and let's see oh there you go my phone fits in there really nicely and then you can still close it and then have your wrestling so i have the largest iphone it fits in there beautifully 
And there's also like another pocket here in the front. And this wallet is pretty much in like new condition. Um, there's no stretch out of the card slots or anything. So this one is really, really good. It's almost like new. Oh, Maryland, right? It's a good one. So many compartments inside it. For real, little bags are not. I there were so. Did you see that giant clutch that I posted um, on Instagram? That was amazing. I you guys know how much I love a large bag, but I'll always stay true to my small bags too. But I love large or small bags. It's hard. Like I always feel weird with like a medium sized bag. I always want it to be like really big or like really small. But I totally agreed, Don. <laughs> I have to put my small bag inside my large bag so that way I can have like the option. So this is our black Kate Spade wallet wristlet with gold hardware and front zipper on top on top flap detail. Okay, we're gonna this guy for fifty dollars. It's gonna be item number six. Item number six, fifty dollars. And let's continue on to number seven. Right, Don? Like, I literally will put my... Dan, did you see, um, they also made, like, the huge, like, luggage tag bag. And then they even had a... It looked like a dollhouse bag. I thought that was really cool. I wonder if they're actually going to make that into production. Or if it was just, like, a fashion show. Kind of piece. Oh, Dorothy's calling number five. Congratulations, Dorothy. Yay. Oh, num oh, sorry, number six. Not number five. Thank you, Dorothy. Congratulations. All righty. Let's go to number seven. I'm almost done with my coffee already, so I'm kind of sad about it. I feel like I barely had any coffee today. Because of the, it was just like an espresso shot. Mmm. Hi, Lourdes. How are you? All right. Up next, let's continue. All right. Uh, our next item. I love this one so much. I love the color combo. And this one is a Claire Vivier um, little pouch. And this, like, green embossed croc leather is so cool. Um, one side is the croc leather. The other side, this is a, like, a blue calf hair. And then on the back, it's green on green action with the um, green suede and then the croc. So you kind of get, like, two looks, which I think is really cool. But I do love, like, this pop of blue. And then we have... The interior is our signature Claire Vivier chambray fabric lining. And this bag is in really, really great shape, like new condition. It's a great little clutch. You can carry it like that or like throw it inside your bag. You can even fit um, an iPad mini in here. So you can kind of use it as a carrying case for your iPad mini. But this is going to be item number seven. Our Claire Vivier green embossed croc pouch with blue calf hair and green suede. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $60, and that's going to be item number seven. These Claire Vivi pouches are so cute, too. I think these retail for almost $300, I believe, especially the ones that have, like, the... Um, the more exotic-y looking fabrics, like with the pony hair, calf hair, and the embossed croc. Okay, so that was number seven. Let's go on to number eight. Look how pretty that green is, though. It's so nice. I want a bag like that in this, like, croc leather. Oh, this would be a great makeup bag, too. Okay, next item... I have, uh, let's do, 
Oh, I actually have another dress. And of course, this one is also sparkly because why would it not be sparkly? That's all I ever look at. <laughs> Whenever I see something shiny, I'm like, shiny. But this one is beautiful. This is a vintage Escada dress. And it's very similar in the fabric of that um, Ted Baker. The fabric on this, though, it's like a little bit of a thicker fabric. But it's also in like that black with like the shiny um, silver in it. It's not as sparkly as the other one, though. The other one does like shine and shimmer a little bit more. This one's a little bit more understated, but you do have these little, like jeweled pieces on the shoulders. So you have the shoulders like that. It's just a beautiful dress. This is um, this is long, so it'll go all the way down to like your ankles. Um, and this is a size. Okay, it's a size petite, it's a size small. If I'm already buying something, it's your fault. <laughs> Sorry, Lourdes, what'd you get? Oh, Lourdes called number seven. Congratulations, Lourdes. That clutch is gorgeous. You're gonna love it. Yay. Oh, Claire Vivier. I love Claire Vivier bags. I actually have a small collection of her bag as well, like, in my own personal, like, collection. So, so good. I love her stuff. And I love that she's, like, a California based designer and all her handbags are actually made in California which is awesome like I know like some places like even like Italian like French brands like they manufacture stuff like in China and then they will bring it back to like Italy or France or whatever and then that's where they attach the hardware and then that's where how they can put made in France because it was like completed or like a certain percentage is completed but I'm pretty sure for Claire Vivier everything is done here in California, which I think is really, really cool. So I, I really like that. Um, so this is our Scott address again. Um, this is going to be number eight. And it kind of has like, um, like a, it has like a V neckline. It's just like a nice, simple dress. Um, and it's a petite small. So this is our black vintage... Escada dress with jewel details, size small, petite. Diana, yes, they do. It's crazy. Like back in the day, it was all pretty much done like in like France or Italy, but now like they will use factories. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do this dress for, um, Let's do $35 for this one, too. Uh, this is going to be item number eight. I know um, Prada, a lot of their nylon stuff now is actually made in China, which I just recently found out about. And then it will also have, like, the Made in China tag inside, so they don't actually, like, they don't um, try to, uh, like, put that it was, like, made in Italy or France, some of their items. So I think, like, the re-edition is also being made in China, too, which is crazy. Okay, um, so that was our Escada dress. It's beautiful. I love the shoulder detail with the, with the jewels. I think that's really, really nice. And that's number eight. And then number nine. Hi, Britt. How are you? How are you loving your bags? <laughs> I always think of that... Um, that double-headed uh, Marc Jacobs bear backpack that you bought. So cute. I'm still waiting. Um, there's going to be another drop, I think, for Marc Jacobs Heaven, uh, if you guys are interested in that collection. And wait, Vadrian, when is it going to be? Is it going to be on Monday? I think it's going to be on Monday. And I think they're going to drop another one of those bear bags. So that's going to be pretty cool. Our next item, um, let's do, okay, so this one, I don't know if you guys are familiar, like, with, and I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of the brand, but it's, um, Chiara Ferragni, Ferragni, I don't know, it's like, she's Italian, Chiara Ferragni, 
Um, but she's like that brand where she got really famous with her shoes that had like the eyes on them. And I have a really cool pair of heels. And this one is going to be in a size um, 37. So size 37. Look at this shoe. It is amazing. It's in a calf hair with the leopard print. And it has um, little patent leather eyeballs. So one has the eye open and the other one has the eye winking. So you have two eyeballs on there. Also her logo is with the eyes as well. They have like little metal eyes right there for the logo. Um, there's a little bit of damage on the heels. You can see there's, a little, there's like some scuffing at the very bottom. Um, it's not like super noticeable. I will try to patch it up um, more. But just know that there is like some scuffing on the very bottom of the heels. But these are a size 37. Um, I believe they fit like a size 7 as well. But they are beautiful. And the heel height on these... Uh, these are 4 inches. So this is the 4 inch heel height. Look at that. Ugh, so cool. Hi HP! Oh, thank you, Paula. I try. I don't know. I just really... I have a fun time shopping for you guys. So, um, so these are Chiara Ferragni uh, calf hair leopard printed heels with 4 inch heel height, size 37. All right, we're going to do these for $65, and that's going to be item number nine for our Chiari, Chiara, Chiara for Agni. I put 665 I meant 65 What is wrong with me? I'm sorry. These fat little fingers, they're not pressing the buttons properly. Okay, let me fix that. There you go. He and is already showing I have in collection. Oh yeah, no, they um he 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 just um like he's updating like uh the items on the website. So he does like drops and he kinda like separates things. So I think he did a drop like a few weeks ago where it was rumored that the bear backpack was gonna be there. I don't know, but a lot of people are obsessed with the bear backpack, including me. I'm just like I just wanna know when it's out. Uh and the next drop is going to be this coming Monday on National Handbag Day. So I'm hoping he drops some really good handbags in that collection. Oh, Hannah. Yes. So Hannah, keep a lookout on Monday. Um, keep refreshing the website so you can try to grab one. Thank you, oh, Maryland. The shoes are beautiful. They're in really good shape too. Like the pony hair or the calf hair is in really great shape. It's just the heels have a little bit of that scuffing on the very, very bottom. Hi, Linda. Oh my gosh, you're waiting to board on the plane. When does your flight leave? Okay. Uh, I forgot what number we were on. Okay, we're on number 10 now. And let's do... I have this little Dooney. This is like a little um, kiss lock pouch wallet. And it is in this gray embossed ostrich leather. And then we have our polished brass hardware. Little kiss lock at the top, which is my favorite. And then we have a bright red interior with looks like four. Yeah. One, two. No, six. It has six little card slots in the inside. This will not fit your phone, though, unfortunately. Um, phone is way too big. But it is such a cute little pouch wallet. You can even use it kind of like an evening clutch as well. You just hold it in your hand. I think it'd be really fun. This is our gray Dooney and Burke ostrich embossed leather 
um, pouch wallet. And this one is in like new condition. We're going to do this one at $50. Oh, oh, Marilyn, I'm glad you like everything. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Hannah, you went to town. That's awesome. Oh, Linda, well, have a safe flight. You're going to have so much fun visiting your family. Okay, so this guy, 50 for number 10 for our Dooney and Burke Kiss Lock wallet. Hi, Carmen! <laughs> but it's so, such a cute little wallet. Oh, Deborah, you called number 10. I didn't even see you. I'm so sorry. Congratulations, Deborah. Yay! Okay. Are you guys back from the park? Oh, my little angels are back from the park. I think they're going to have lunch now. They just wanted to scooter a little bit. Get those spiders off of their scooters. <laughs> Also, P.S., there wasn't even a spider on the scooter. There was like, it was like a spider webby kind of thing, but there was no spider, so I just like vacuumed up the spider webs. <laughs> and then Zach was like, I think I have spiders on mine too. How was scootering, Zachary Taylor Thomas? Hello. Did you have a good time scootering? Yeah. Did you find any more spiders? No. No more spiders. They're trying to do cooler cartwheels and doing. Ooh, are you guys going to have lunch now? <gasps> what are you going to eat? Are you going to eat pizza? All right. Hi, Boots. How are you? It's okay. We're, we're only on number 11, so you haven't missed too much. <laughs> Okay, I feel like during the daytime I'm always even slower than normal, so I apologize. But I also just like hanging out with you guys and chatting. So that's another problem of mine too. Our next item, um, okay, this bag is empty. Okay, um, our next piece is I actually have, um, this is a clothing piece, and the brand is called DR2, which is, like, I, I forget what the DR stands for, but I know it's, um, a little bit more of, like, an expensive brand, and I just have, it's a beautiful white blouse. This is a size small, but it's oversized, so it could, it definitely would fit up to, like, a size medium, and it's kind of like a shift, kind of, like, top, it just has like these fun sleeves right here with like a little bit of like a fun um, like pleated detail. And then it on the sides, it has a little bit of a slit like that. So it's almost like a, is it like a shift or like a tunic um, blouse? And it's just in this like really pretty white um, fabric. And I think it's a synthetic fabric. Yeah, it's a polyester. So, um, Hand wash cold with light colors, hang to dry, cool iron when needed. So this is going to be our next item. And I've just been picking up some like random blouses. Hey, I don't know if you saw that Kate's been asking me to show that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even see. You know what? I updated um, my phone and Discord, I had to like sign in and I was like, oh, I haven't been getting notifications on Discord. And I just like noticed. So... Um, I might have missed a lot of messages if anyone sent any. Um, but Kate, what Alexander Wang bag were you asking about? Or Katie? Was it Kate or Katie? Kate. Uh, so this is our white um, DR2 blouse. Oversized size. What did I say? Small. And this one's gonna be how much for you, Okay, we're gonna do this one for $20. And that's item number 11.
Oh, it's Katie. Okay. Um, I will. I don't. Wait, is she in here? I don't think she was in the live right now, right? I'll send her an email or I'll, I'll send her a DM back on um, Discord. Oh, Linda, I'm so glad you like it. Wait, what did you say, Adrian? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I think... I don't know which Alexander Wang she's talking about, but I will ask her. I have a couple Alexander Wang bags right now, so... Um, Up next, we're on item number 12. But yeah, if I never, if I like end up like not replying to someone, just please send me another message. Um, they, I don't know, I always get jumbled up with my messages. I get like a gazillion notifications. And the other night, I, okay, well, I got a new, I got a new phone. So I was... <laughs> Um, transferring everything into this one. It literally took five hours because I have so many photos and videos and stuff. And I couldn't use my phone for, like, that long. And then when I, uh, I had to, like, re-sign into everything. And, um, I totally forgot about signing back into Discord because I thought it signed in for me already. Because some things it signed into, some things it didn't. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, sometimes, like, the chat, like, I'll miss it, too, because, um... Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks! Our next item is gonna be... Oh, speaking about Philip Lim, I still have this little beauty right here. This is a Philip Lim, um... This, I think this is the mini. Right? No, or the small. Small mini. It's the same size as like the Celine Nano. So cute. We have the black and bra embossed croc leather. And then we have like this chartreuse pony hair, calf hair, and silver hardware. It's in fantastic condition, like new. Top handle, cross body strap, and super duper cute. I've shown you guys this one before already, but um, this one is still available. This is number 12. This is our Philip Lim mini Pajli with pony hair and embossed croc leather details and silver hardware. And this one was how much, Adrian? But here's the bag again. It's super cute. This one we're asking 225 Oh, Marilyn. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, I have, like, the iPhone, like, trade-in thing, so I actually have to send that one back already now that I had it. Um, I was able to transfer everything over from my old phone, so I gotta mail that back to Apple, unfortunately. I'm sorry. All right. That was number 12 for our Philip Lim. Number 13 is up. Ooh, lucky number 13. What are we going to do for number 13? I love doing something fun and exciting. Um, do I have anything fun and exciting for number 13? Let's do... Well, I still have this guy, which I always forget that I still have. So let's do this one. And I'll give you guys a good price on him. Do you have the iPhone 14? I do, Boots. So far, so good. Like, I really like it. Um, it also has, like, that perpetual on setting, which I think is kind of weird, so I turned it off. Um, and it has... Like, the new cam- the cameras are really good. I feel like they make a difference. But I take a lot of photos and stuff with my phone. So, I feel like not, like, I don't know if most people would really notice too much. But, I like it. But this is item number 13. Lucky number 13. This is our beautiful 
suede. Let me like make it look darker. You know, like when you move, the, like you change the nap of the leather or the direction that the suede is going, it kind of changes the color of the bag. But this is a navy um, Celine Phantom. It is in really, really great condition. Um, there's a bottom, it has little feetsies on there in like a antique brass. We have the front little zipper pocket right there. Right, Diana, it's so pretty. Uh, I have it kind of like stuffed with paper. It also does come with the original dust bag as well. That would be inside of there. And the bag, like, it, it holds its shape really well. So it stands up beautifully, even without anything inside. The interior is all in navy leather as well. There's just one interior pocket in the back. And you can, like, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to style this bag. It has, like, the little leather belt things that you can have sticking out, which I love that kind of look. And then you can kind of close it up like this. And then you can actually, um, on top, you can belt this closed. So you kind of put the little metal hardware thing through the loop right there. So you do that and then you put the leather piece inside and then it'll keep your handbag like more closed like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite styles. I actually like this one I think better than the like the regular mini luggage. Um, I actually have two phantoms in my personal collection. I have the snake one right there and I also have the larger one in like a black leather and yeah so this is that um this is our navy suede celine phantom tote with antique brass hardware and this is gonna be how much for adrian 750 all right we're gonna do this one for 750 Actually, we're gonna do a little bit of discount today. Let's do 725. A little more of a discount for you guys. 725, that's item number 13 for our Celine Phantom. And she is in really great condition. It's item number 14. I just like to keep her all stuffed up. Isn't that beautiful? There's something about like a suede bag too for a fall. I don't know why fall just like screams suede for me. It's such a pretty bag. And I love navy. Navy is such a good color. Okay, 15 is, or 14, 15. Uh, 14 is up next. All right, let's do... this guy right here. So I have, this is a, oh my gosh, Jessica, how are you? I haven't seen you in so long in one of the lives. You guys, Jessica is Miss Enchilada, and if you guys are in and around the Fresno area, she makes the most delicious enchiladas. Um, Jessica, when are you gonna do another order? You guys gotta try her enchiladas if you guys can, because she is amazing, and she always sells out, so you guys gotta like, hop on it. Delta Channel is a mess. People are so... Oh, no, Linda. I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like the airports... I haven't been to an airport <laughs> in a while, but it's always hectic already, but I feel like just paired with everything, it's just, like, probably even more crazy. This is a Michael Kors um, snake print embossed satchel. The gold on this is amazing. Like, it is so pretty. It's so reflective and so gorgeous. Uh, it also does have little feet on the bottom. This one is in pretty much like new condition. It has also the uh, crossbody strap is still wrapped up. It even comes with the original Michael Kors receipt. And then all of the Michael Kors, um, the, the tag, It this bag was $428. And then it comes with a little 
care booklet as well. It just has one interior pocket in the side, in the side right there. And the little side pieces, they actually can flare out if you want, or you can have them kind of um, folded in like this. You can have the bag two different ways. And then they have little snaps that you can snap on the side to keep it closed. Uh, I got my cat rag and bone, so I'm so glad you like it, Boots. I make them every end of the month. Oh, there you go. If you guys are in the Central Valley area. Miss Enchilada is the best. Okay, so this is our gold Michael Kors satchel. It just doesn't come with a dust bag, okay? It comes with everything else, though. All right, we're going to do um, this guy for $75. That's going to be item number 14. Um, yeah. Oh, you know Lady Badger? I do. Let me. I actually have it right here next to me. Let's do our little leaf skinned satchel. This one is so cute too, like I'm obsessed with the color because I'm loving green recently and this one is in such a cute, like a, such a good green. Hold on, I just had all the zippers open. All right, our next item, this is a leaf skinned satchel and it's in this beautiful green color. Um, it does have a little bit of a mark right here on the front right there like underneath the top flap and there's like a kind of like another little mark right there where my nail is um it's beautiful though it has i don't know if you guys are familiar with like um how kate spade and chanel sometimes they'll do their leathers that have um it almost has like a like a glitter laminated almost like into the leather so that yeah so you see it the glitter like, at certain angles, you can see, like, the bag, like, kind of glitters. It's kind of like a Twilight vampire. Like, when it's in direct sunlight, it kind of glitters a little bit, which I think is really cool. I've never seen a leap skin with that type of leather. Um, there's two snap front pockets, and then there's a zipper pocket in the front. Top handle, cross body strap is adjustable and removable. Ooh, really, Hannah? I didn't know that. And then here's the interior. Lots of compartments. There's a zipper in the back. There's a middle kind of zipper dividing um, pocket. And then two more pockets on the other side. Uh, the interior is in great shape. There, uh, I think there's only one little mark, which is right there. Actually, let me, do you think I can remove it right now? Let me see. I have like a little wipe right here. Let me see if I can take it out because it doesn't look like a major mark or anything. But I might need my little fabric cleaner, but I am not sure. But just know that there might be a little mark in the bottom if I can't get it completely out. Um, yeah, I think I need my fabric cleaner for that one. Otherwise, though, the bag is in pretty great shape. Oh, actually... There's a little bit of darkening right at the top, where by like right by where the zipper is. Also, I'll try to clean that off as well, but I'm not gonna be 100% sure if it'll come out. But um, we're gonna price it as is though, like with those marks on it. Um, here's the bottom. There are no feet, unfortunately, but I feel like for these bags that are super duper soft, they normally don't have feet on the bottom. Um, oh, thank you, Sarah S. And this is 15, right? Yeah, 15. So this is 15. This is our green. Um, I'm, I'm going to spell it right, Hannah. <laughs> Lieb. I, and I know I'm pronouncing it wrong every single time. And I, print, I apologize for that, too. Lieb. 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 Limp Biscuit is what I always think about now because of Vadrian. Um, leaf skinned green satchel with antique brass hardware. Oh, bye, Linda. Have a good flight. 
Okay, we're gonna do this guy for $45. That's gonna be number 15. That's gonna be number four or fifteen. Oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congratulations, Lady Badger! Yay! Oh, I'm so sorry, Lind or Cindy. Lady Lo uh, Lady Badger got that right before you. But um, congratulations, Lady Lobster. Hey, Lady, <laughs> you see, Lady Lobster, Lady Badger. I'm so sorry. Um, I think I do. I have any more of these Um, I actually have a backpack. Hold on, let me show you guys this one next. Um. Sixteen. All right, sixteen is gonna be the leap skinned backpack. So I have this great leap skin backpack. This one can actually also be made into a crossbody bag. So um, it has these um, removable straps right here, so you can attach the strap onto this side, and then you have a little satchel. And I really like the style of this one. It kind of reminds me of like those old time, like old school backpacks. But there's a little push lock um, right here. This opens like that, so you have a front pocket, and then the interior looks like this, kind of similar to the other one. There's a zipper pocket in the back with a open pocket underneath, a middle dividing zipper pocket, and then two more pockets here on the front. And then the backpack straps look like this. There's nice leather. It has cool hardware too, where the backpack straps connect, which is really nice. So this is our black lib libeskin. Oh my gosh. Antique brass hardware. And we're gonna do this guy. This one is in pretty much like new condition. So this gun's gonna be $65. And that's gonna be item number 16. Our Black leap skinned leather backpack. She's gorgeous. There you go. Let's put it right here next to our Celine. All right, up next. I literally only have foam left in here. Oh, Cindy's calling number 16. Congratulations, Cindy. Oh, yeah, you each got one. I'm glad. Just got a little leap skin bag. Leap skinned, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. One day I'm going to pronounce it correctly. <sighs> my excuse is always that English wasn't my first language. But I can't even pronounce anything in Tagalog, like, <laughs> properly. So it's like, I just can't pronounce anything properly. Um, our next item is gonna be... Let's do this guy right here. This is a... On our number 17. Oh, whoopsies. What is that? Oh. Pressing the wrong buttons on my computer. Okay. Um, up next is our Madewell little zipper pouch wallet. And this is in a beautiful brown leather. And it has these embossed and printed like gold palm trees on there. Which I think is fun. It has brass hardware. The interior looks like this. So it has like the built-in card slots. And then the little um, like snap pocket right there. And this is like the perfect size for your phone that'll fit inside there perfectly with room to spare. Hannah, you were born in Germany, right? I think you told me that you were born in Germany. I was born in the Philippines, so. But I came here when I was like a wee little lad. Okay, so 17 is our Vadrian is still there. Oh, I might have lost Vadrian. Brown, oh, there you are. Brown leather, made well, 
pouch wallet with gold palm trees. How much is this one, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for um for thirty dollars. Isn't it cute? And the leather on like Madewell stuff is always so nice too. I feel like you always get like a good bang for your buck with Madewell stuff. Okay, so that one is thirty dollars for our Madewell pouch. There she is. So so cute. Oh, Dorothy is calling it number seventeen. Congratulations, Dorothy. Yay. Oh, Lady Badger, were you born in Australia? I have a bunch of relatives that actually live in Australia, but I've never had a chance to visit. One of these days, I really want to go over there. It's so pretty. I want, like, yeah, I, I want to, like, visit Sydney and go to the Outback and I want to see the kangaroos. The only thing that scares me, though, are, like, all of, like, the crazy insects and snakes and stuff. Oh, okay, Hannah, you were born in the U.S. Yeah, I was the only one that was, in, like, out of the kids, my parents, or my, like, yeah, my siblings, that was born not in the U.S., so I'm special. I told you about my friend. He was born on an airplane, right? Like, that was so crazy. I was like, what? You're the only person I know to be born on an airplane. But I guess it's, like, not super common, but still pretty cool. Okay, up next is... I moved here. <gasps> Lady Badger, do you have an Australian accent? I have um a cousin that was... He wasn't born in Australia, but he moved there... I want to say when he was, like, five or six. And... He has, like, an Australian accent, which I am so jealous of. I love, like, accents and stuff. Like, I know, like, two people outside of, like, the U.S. have an accent, but I don't know. I feel like American accents, or, like, American accents just aren't as fun as other accents. Um, this next item is a cute little Kate Spade wallet. And this is what I was telling you guys about how the leather of that Leapskin kind of has, like, that glitter in it like this is that glittery kind of leather i was telling you guys about that kate spade does this one's gonna be um like a as is kind of wallet it's still in a in usable shape and it's not like it doesn't have too much wear but you can see that there are a couple little marks on there there's one and two here on the back there definitely are some marks too on the hardware just from use but i love this little diamond shaped turn lock hardware i think it's so so cute I was born in a car. Oh my gosh, Liz on the freeway. <laughs> Actually, I, have, I think I have a cousin that was born in the car. So, there's a lot of really crazy traffic in the Philippines. And I remember, I think, like, my aunt said that, um, or my cousin said that she was born in traffic, like, in the Philippines. Like, it was crazy. Um, when you open it up, here's the inside. So, you have that clear ID, lots of card slots. There are, like, um... Some, like, rubbing. That's where, like, that color loss is on some of the card slots. But once you get the cards in there, I don't think it's going to be too noticeable because the, the cards will pretty much cover them up. Uh, and then you have four more um, pockets here on the sides. And then you have the zip coin part right here. It does open and close um, okay. It's like a little bit stiff. I will try to loosen it up. Usually I'll use like a wax paper or something on there or even like tin foil first and then the wax paper afterwards. And it'll usually like uh, make the zipper run nice and smooth, especially if you have like, if it's kind of like a little, like you can feel like the resistance when you're trying to open and close it. So um, get tin foil, rub that on the zipper first and that kind of cleans it and like removes like any debris or anything that might be on the zipper. And then after that, if you have like a wax paper or you run the wax paper on the zipper and then that'll kind of like lubricate it and add like a little bit of that wax to it to help the zipper open and close nicely. So uh, it's a little tip, but there's the inside. It has a little bit of darkening in there as well. 
But again, definitely still usable. Oh, you're from Uruguay too, Liz? That's so cool! You and Veronica are both from Uruguay. Okay, so this is our um, beige quilted Kate Spade wallet. And this one we're going to do for how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $15. That's going to be item number 18. Okay. Ooh, the boys. They forgot that they have homework. <laughs> All right. Up next, we're going to go to number 19. Okay, what will we do for 19? The foil trick. Ah, Jessica! Right? It does work really well. I like the combo of, like, the foil and the wax paper. It'll just, like, usually it'll just get your zipper working really, really nicely. For Doc Martens, U.S. size 8 black leather. Oh, okay, you guys, if anyone has a pair of size 8 Doc Martens for Diana, she's looking for a pair. I don't have any size 8 Doc Martens, unfortunately, but I will be on the lookout. I still, um, I only, the only Doc Martens I have right now are those polka dot Doc Martens I showed you guys before. I think they're like a women's 10, I think, is what it was. Yeah, the wax paper. It'll like add like an extra, like, I don't know. A little, a little oomph as far as the smoothness of the zipper. Ah, I was right. Mm -hmm. Okay, up next, let's do... Oh, let's do this guy. Okay, this one is a... This is actually new book. So this is a little Nubuck um, flap bag, and this is from Rebecca Minkoff. I was like, wait a minute, brain freeze. This is a Rebecca Minkoff um, Nubuck leather little flap bag. It's really, really cute. I am obsessed with like how it's like it has like the wavy kind of quilting, and I also like that it has this little chain top handle and then this little the little leather one kind of folds away when you use this or when you're using this little top handle like this the chain folds down so I don't know it's just a fun decorative detail and this is in a gunmetal so the hardware is like this beautiful gunmetal color it also does have the crossbody strap which is adjustable and removable on the back there is a great pocket right here which will fit your cell phone really nicely if you wanted to throw that back there and then this is a magnetic top flap. When you open it up, you just have a black fabric interior with a zipper pocket right there. So um, it's in pretty great shape. Um, the suede, or I mean the new book, is in good condition. There's no like rubbing points or anything. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any, like, discoloration, really. Yeah, it's in really good shape, and it's in this really nice, like, green-gray color. I think it's coming up more gray on camera, but it's, like, a greenish gray, if that makes sense. And it's a new book. So this is our, uh, Rebecca Minkoff green-gray uh, new buck leather, nope, flap bag with wavy quilted details and, uh, gun metal colored hardware. And how much is this one going to be for your dream? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $85. This is also a newer style, I believe, too, from Rebecca Minkoff. 
Um, that one, yeah, so that one's number 19. Alrighty, so that was number, yeah, number 19. So we're on 20 next. Here we go again, here's the bag. So cute. It kind of has like that, um, like the Chanel S qualities, like Chanel 19 S with like the chain right here too, which I like. So it has like that fun quilting, which I like the wavy quilting. I don't know. I don't think I've seen the wavy quilting from anywhere else. And number 20 is up next. All right. Oh, next up I have, this is a little Madewell um, zipper pouch wallet. And I don't know if you guys remember when I had the totes like the little transport totes from this collection. But it's like, it looks like a corduroy, but this is actually a leather. So it's like a corduroy leather. And I had the matching bag in the same exact color. And I also had that orange one. So super cute. This one is in like new condition. Here's a little zipper pull right there. And then in the inside, it has, um, hold on, let me just get this. Yeah, it has like three built-in card slots right inside of there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There we go. That's number 20. Our mustard yellow corduroy um, leather pouch wallet. And this is going to be how much we had We're gonna do this guy for 25. This one is also in like new condition and that's gonna be number 20. Okay. Right, Diane? I really like this collection too that has like the corduroy suede. Um, they're so fun. And this is such a pretty color too, like this mustard kind of yellow color. Alrighty, up next. What number should we go to today? What time is it? It's like one o'clock. How many items have we done so far? Okay, we're at 20. Should we like go to 25, 30? Oh, I'm on the slow internet. No wonder my, my thing is so slow. Oh, congratulations, Kathy S. Yay. Let me see if I can hop onto this. Congratulations, Kathy. All right, 21 is going to be up next. Um, oh, okay. I have, this is a beautiful coach flat bag. I love this red. And I love like the bag is like kind of like it looks like I don't know it kind of reminds me of like the pillow tabby. It's not as like poofy but it definitely kind of has like that effect still. Um, beautiful red leather. It has like the coach um, logo with a horse and carriage and boss on the front. Um, has the hardware right there. It does have a couple little marks on like the top flap, as you can see, like certain angles, you can kind of see like some of the marks on there, but it's still in great shape. You don't really see the marks that um, like, obviously when you're looking at it, like it's not like super like um, noticeable. You turn lock, super cute. There's a front pocket right there. And then in the interior, you have a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. And there also is a back pocket as well. 
which is magnetic. So you have like a large back pocket right there. And you can also wear this bag two ways. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can um, go ahead and extend it and wear it as a crossbody as well. And it does have these little um, leather pieces at the very end of the bag also. Oh, go to 35. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm at the Fresno Fair. Oh, have fun, Jessica. Um, all right, so that's number 21. This is our red, red coach flap bag with um, convertible straps. Okay. And this one, we're going to ask um, $110 for this guy. That's item number 21. She's gorgeous. I love the red, to like the tone of the red too. It's really nice. It's like a blue, you know how like red can like, could be like more of like a cooler um, red. This is definitely a cool red, which is cool. <laughs> which is cool. Thank you, Diana. Isn't it so pretty? Cool tone reds. Love that. Um, up next, we're on 22. I wonder if I, you know what, let me see if I can find out the name of this guy. Hold on. Let me, I'm gonna image search it. I, always, I use my Google app to image search, and then you see that little button right there? Then you can um, you can either take a picture of it, or if you already have like a photo in your phone of an item, um, you can search for it that way. And then comes up. This is the... Oh, it's the Coach Ranger shoulder bag. So it's the Coach Ranger, R-A-N-G-E-R, -E like a Power Ranger. Right? It's definitely not Black Dawn. <laughs> but it's the Coach Ranger. Go, go, Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, next up, I have... This is a... Oh, the question is right here. How do you decorate for fall slash Halloween? Let me leave the link for the giveaway. Right there. Hi, Simone. Oh, thank you. The Chanel. I'll show that one um, after. Wait, did you, what, what were you saying, Adrian? Oh. Um, okay, so we'll do the other red bag behind me for number 22. And the Chanel, this is actually like a warm red versus like the cool red. So you guys can actually see kind of like the difference. Uh, I don't know if it's really coming up. I think it does come up on camera though. But you can see this one has a little bit more of like a warmer tone and this one has a cooler tone. This is our Chanel um, bag right here. And it is in a caviar leather. And this is a red color, like a like a cool, like a warm red. Um, we have the shoulder strap right here. This is actually removable. And then we have the longer strap. Um, you can wear it crossbody, but it does sit higher up. So definitely just like a longer shoulder strap for sure. Uh, it has a turn lock. Right here, this is a antique gold hardware. You open it up, it does have the embroidered Chanel logo underneath. And then here is the interior. There's a zipper pocket back there, a key fob, and then has the two pockets with like the lipstick pocket in there. And does this one have any marks in the interior? 
I always forget because there was that one that did have marks. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't have any pen marks on the interior. It's in great shape. There's a little um, thicker is right there. This will also come with a certificate of authenticity if you purchase. And The leather on this too is in pretty great shape. There's no like major signs of wear. Um, there might be like some like a hint of like rubbing on some of the corners, but nothing that is gonna be super obvious unless you look really hard for it. Like the bag is in really great shape. And there's the back. And then there's the bottom. I like this strap too, like this leather strap on here. Like I think it's really cute and then you can carry it like a shoulder bag like that. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Tanya. I, I already found it, like the name. Okay, so this is our red caviar leather Chanel. Hardware. And this one was 2,300. And that's number 22. And then 23 is up next. This is such a pretty bag. I had um, the same, almost the same exact style in two, like in magenta and then in like a tan. And those have sold already. So this is the only one that I have left. But I think this one is like my favorite one. This is the largest size that I had from this kind of like um, silhouette. And this is the only one that had the little shoulder strap as well. The other ones just had like the one um, strap on them. And 23. Oh, this is the number 23. This is our Dagny Dover. And this is in a black nylon. This is a little shoulder bag. It's puffy and cute and it's super soft. It's like a pillow. It's so fun. It's in. Um, like new condition. It comes with a little removable pouch on the inside right here. And I think this one comes with a card. No. Okay, the inside looks like this. There's a zipper pocket on one side and the other side has um, three pen pockets and then two open pockets. I know it's hard to see, like, the interior is just, like, all black. But this one is in, like, new condition. And that is going to be number 23, black, nylon, Dagny, Dover, Puffer, Hobo, shoulder bag. And this is how much we did? Yeah, it is, like, that croissant look, Diane. It's, like, a half moon. Okay, so this one we're gonna do for $70. This one is in like new condition as well. That's number 23. And this one's a newer style too from Dagny Dover. Go. Um, I think I, I, I'll try to go to number to 35 today. I'll try to go to 35. <laughs> as long as you guys are still okay with me going longer. I think, how long have we been on already? 11, 12, it's already been two hours. Um, Tanya, it's this one right here. It's the Coach Ranger, I believe, is the name. Okay, our next item is, um, this is a Longchamp belt bag. And this is in a black croc embossed leather. This is also a new style as well from Longchamp. 
which I believe is being sold on their website. Um, I think this one retails for around four to like between four to five hundred dollars. I think. Um, there's the interior. Um, there's a little coat or longchamp tag right inside of here, and it has a little other tag underneath. It also comes with a care booklet right inside of there. You're welcome, Tanya. How's the dentist? Are you already back from the dentist? And then it has Longchamp just embossed right there on the front as well. Um, I like the hardware too that's on the belt loop right here. It's really pretty. And this one, I think, looks really good as like a little body bag style. And I don't think this one will fit your phone. Yeah, it doesn't fit inside perfectly, but you can kind of like fit it like that so it pops out a little bit. But I mean, it will sit inside of there and then you can just grab it um, when you want. So it's actually not bad. So there you go. This is number 24. Our round, croc, embossed, long chomp. Belt bag. And it has gunmetal hardware. Doing some, oh, nice. Do you find anything cool yet? Yes, a bunch of times. How much? Okay, this one is 225. I'm um, sorry about the lag, Veronica. I feel like there's, um, YouTube has been pretty laggy recently for some reason. And I switched onto my fast internet too, so. All right, so that was 24, 25 is up next. Okay. Oh, I really like this backpack. Okay, this is our next item. This is our Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, that's so cool, Liz. Your grandpa's from the same place as Veronica. Uh, this is a um, Rebecca Minkoff black leather backpack. This is in the larger size. Um, it's in black pebbled leather. It has these cool like studs with the stars and the moon and the eyeballs. It's really, really cute. We have two side zipper compartments and then there's another back zipper right there. This one is in like new condition as well. Um, there's a zipper pocket in there. Sorry, it's like so hard to see. Zipper pocket, an open pocket underneath. And then on the other side, it has two more open pockets. Oh, Marjorie, welcome. It's okay. So here's our backpack, Rebecca Minkoff. So cute. This is what the bottom looks like. It doesn't have any feet, but such a good style. And then the straps are adjustable right there. So this is our black Rebecca Minkoff leather backpack with star moon and eyes studs. And this one is $120. And that is number 25. And this one is in like new condition as well and yes okay 26 is up next but this is so cute uh, okay what is everyone having for lunch p.s or has everyone eaten already i'm still thinking about what i'm gonna be eating after this live is over Uh, yes, Hannah, it's, it's 120 for the Rebecca Minkoff backpack. 
Yeah, it's really bad. Okay, this one is pretty cool. This is actually the same exact style of bag that I had, um, like, before. And I think, um, Diana, I think, bought it. It was in black. But now I have this baby in this really nice, like, nude, light pink color. And this is a Bakie tote. Mm, the leather on this smells heavenly. Like, it smells so good. I love the leather on this, too. It's, like, so thick and, like, I don't know. It just feels really nice and luxurious. It has, like, this cool zipper detail around the bag. Um, it's also on the top handles as well. The straps are nice and long, so you can carry this really nicely on your shoulder. And then we have this little Bakke charm on here. Um, the only thing with the exterior is that some of the um, edge coat right here is like a little bit cracking or um, some little pieces are kind of like missing. But honestly, it's not that bad at all. Um, number, oh, DG House is calling 25. Congratulations, DG House. J Sweet Meat Bun Suit. Oh, J Sweet. That sounds so good. Oh my gosh. That sounds so yummy. I want some. But congratulations, DG House. This backpack is so cute. I want Bun Suit too. And uh, I want Lumpia. Okay. Um, so back to the tote. So yeah, there is like some um, cracking and a little bit of like some pieces that are like actually missing of the edge coat. But the edge coat really doesn't do anything. It's really just a little bit of um, like an aesthetic kind of thing. Uh, you can just remove all of it, leave it as is, or we do the edge coating. But we're selling this guy as is. I think it still has like so much life left and it's still in really great shape. Um, trying to see if there are any, like, there's a little bit of rubbing on some of the bottom corners. You can see there's some right there and a little bit right there and right there. So there's a slight rubbing at the very bottom. And the interior though is like the best part of the bag because you have this beautiful metallic gold lining. It's like leather. And the inside, it's really, really pretty. Even, um, like, inside the pocket is, like, also in gold as well, which is really cool. So you have the zipper pocket. You have another open pocket right there. And the interior is in pretty good shape. I think there's, like, two tiny... Do you see that mark down there? There's, like, two tiny, like, pen marks at the very bottom. Otherwise, the interior is in really great shape. And it has a magnetic um, snap up at the top. Oh, Jean, you're making me so hungry. Me too. Oh, Jay. Oh my gosh. Um, let's be East Coast because they saw the price before. I An open face ham sandwich with salad. Oh, you're, it's your mom's 70th birthday. Happy birthday to your mom. That sounds like fun. Oh, Tanya, a fasting day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be item number 26. This is our nude slash pink leather Bakie tote bag with gold interior. Oh, yeah, repairing the edge coat is super duper easy. Um, so how much is this going to be, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for... $45. Really, the only thing is the edge coating, but even then, it's, like, not even that big of an issue. But, um, the bag is so, so pretty. The leather is so nice on this Bakie tote. Like, it's really good. Okay, up next... We're gonna do number 27. It's big bag season. It's our time to shine, Diana, with our giant bags. I love it.
Alrighty, up next. Oh, okay. I have a really nice hoodie. It, it, it definitely is, Hannah. 70 is like a big birthday. That's a good celebration. Our uh, next item is actually a hoodie. And I have been looking for like winter things. So I'm really excited. This is in a size medium, but it's definitely an oversized sweater. But this is a Levi's hoodie. Um, I love like the logo on there. Then it has um, Levi Strauss and this is embroidered with like a rainbow um, lettering and it's also on the sleeve. So it's also right here and this is all like embroidered and the sweater like the hoodie is in a cream color. So I put the wrong number. Did I skip a number? Oh, okay, I put 25 twice. I'm sorry, guys. That was actually 26. Later in. Just notified me about it. So then we're on 27 then. But, um, yeah, this is a size medium. I feel like this would fit me. So, it's a pretty good size. And it's in really good shape. It's super clean. Um, all the stitching is really good. Made in Turkey. Again, this is a size medium. Okay, this is number 27. Um, Levi's... A uh, cream hoodie with a rainbow um, embroidery writing. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $25. It's so our little Levi's hoodie. Uh, oh, sorry, that was a size medium. I forgot to put that in. Oversized size medium. There we go. And it's number 27. And then 28. Monica, yeah, I accidentally put 25 twice. So the last 25 is actually number 26. So 26 is the Bakie Totes. 25 was the Rebecca Minkoff backpack. But the Rebecca Minkoff backpack has already sold. So, um, yeah. But I actually just accidentally put the wrong number. Hi, Odelia. I know we're early today, so that people that can't join like the late night lives would have a chance to join. But this is our hoodie, and that one was 27. And then 28 is up next. I guess we'll do this guy. This is a... I don't know. Oh, Odelia, you might have to re you like to um, reset your app or go in and out of the video. Um, I was the queen of chunky boots. <laughs> I feel like that's like what's in right now, Hannah. All right, so back to 28. Okay, so this is a Michael Kors satchel and it's in black pebbled leather and then it has this like gold embossed python. It's so pretty, just like the other bag, Michael Kors, this one's also like super shiny and gorgeous. Um, I love that the crossbody strap, one side is gold, one side is black. It has this fun belted detail on either side of the bag as well. Um, we also have a little lock and key detail right here, some little charms. This has a button opening, so you push open this guy right here, there's a little buckle. And then 
it has this little um, like lobster claw thing almost, um, little closure in the middle. And then there's a zipper pocket inside of there and then two open pockets on the other side. A uh, really, really cute bag. It's in really great shape as well. And it's beautiful. I don't know, I just love the color combo. I think this gold python is so, so pretty. And I am obsessed. Like I love all the pops of gold and then with contrast with the black, I think it's really, really nice. And I do also like that there's a little top handle as well. So you can carry it um, in different ways. Oh, got stuck on there. There we go. And this is our black and gold Michael Kors satchel. Black gold leather and gold hardware. And this is how much feed range? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for eighty dollars. It's gonna be item number twenty-eight. And I think this is this one a Michael Kors collection. Anyway, um, that's twenty eight twenty nine is gonna be up next. Ooh, we're almost done. Got like six more to go. Um, this is one of the Alexander Wangs that I have. This one is the little mini um, Morocco. Ooh, what, what is that, Adrian? That is intense. Oh, you like the Doc Martens more worn in? Yeah. I feel like they look cooler and more worn in, right? So this is the little um, Alexander Wang um, Rocco bag. This is like the mini. And then this is... Um, Printed fur, it's like a leopard print. And then we have like the black pebbled leather and then the straps are denim. And then we have our studs on the bottom, they're silver. It's so, so cute, it's tiny and small. I have the crossbody strap inside. So the crossbody strap is right here, it's also in black. This has silver hardware. And then the interior looks like this. And it does come with all of the cards and stuff inside of there. And there's a little booklet and all that goodness. And then um, it does have the original tag still on it right here as well. This bag retails for $600 for $595. I'll just put that strap back inside. And this is a, it has a crossbody strap. Oh, there you are, Odelia. Yay, can you hear me now? So this is our um, Alexander Wang Rocky mini crossbody bag with black leather, uh, leopard print fur, and denim handles with silver hardware. And it was how much for Okay, this one was 425 and that's item number 29. Again, this one is also brand new. And let's continue to number 30. But there we go again. The bag is so cute. It's like tiny. Um, this will also fit your like your iPhone inside too. So it's not too small that it's not gonna fit. Oh, is it? Yeah, I have this one. I still have the pink backpack. I have the prism crossbody and I have the like the wallet on the chain. So I have a couple Alexander Wang pieces right now, which is pretty cool. I don't normally have this many at once. So and this one is the looks like brand new, so that's pretty that's pretty cool. Okay, I'll set that guy over there. Um next up. is number 30. Oh, is Esau in here? Hey Esau, how's it going? Esau is addicted to Prada. <laughs> I love that you literally change your name like every day. 
Oh, right. Up next. Oh, okay. This is like a Victoria's Secret. I don't even know how to show this because it's like... Is this actually a... Oh, that's like a... Um, I think it goes like this. And then you like wear this part like around your neck or something. Hold on. I'm going to try to tie this and then wear it around my neck. So you guys can see how it looks. Or are these little straps that connect? Am I confused? Oh, these connect. These are little shoulder straps. I think. Hadrian has really no clue how to wear this, so I honestly do not know. Never mind. I'll just show this next time. I have no clue how this thing goes. Uh, let's do... Oh, let's do this. Okay. This one is just like a beautiful blue. It's a Lauren by La Ralph Lauren, um, like dress. The color though is spectacular on this, and this is in a size two piece, so it's like a size two petite. But like, look at how gorgeous this blue color is, it's like a cobalt, and then it has like some ruching along the sides, and this is like a knee length. Like I think it'll just go like right above the knee. And it also, um, it doesn't have like a slit, but like this is like a loose part like on the front. So it's really, really pretty. Color is gorgeous. I love this shade of blue. And yeah, this is Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Beautiful cobalt blue dress. Paula, same. <laughs> uh, this is our cobalt blue um, Lauren by Ralph Lauren dress, size 2P. And this one's going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $25. This one is in fantastic condition as well. It's in really great shape. And again, the color is just perfect. It's so pretty. That's that guy right there. Um, we're on item number 31 now. Oh, I also still have that reformation dress, too. Oh, bye, Hannah. Have a good rest of your day. And happy birthday again to your mom. Have fun tonight. This um, is up next. I have this really cute um, coach crossbody bag. And this has gold hardware, there's a little turn lock right here. There is some hard, like some wear on the hardware. You can see like, a couple little marks on there. But this is a turn lock. I actually have this strap inside. So here's the strap. It's not removable um, or adjustable, I believe. It's just like a... Yeah, it's like a set length. We do also still have the coach hang tag right there. There's a back pocket. And then the interior has some um, one interior pocket on the inside. And then, whoop. There you go. And it's nice and clean on the interior. Um, but yeah. So really the only wear is like around the hardware of the turn lock. But that's to be expected when you have, like, a really large, um, like, hardware on the front. But look how shiny it is. It's really pretty. Okay, this is our black coach flap crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this one's going to be how much, Peter? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $70. And that's going to be number 31. And then, oh, we're almost done. What am I going to have for lunch? I'm really hungry. That's, like, all I'm thinking about. <laughs> and then after, the, like, um, after this, I also have to finish ironing and putting up the rest of the curtains. I only have two more panels to hang. And then I have um, those two and then one more that I have to steam. And then I'm going to be done with the curtains. And I'm 
Ah, so excited. I've never had crisper curtains in my life, and it's, like, life-changing. I don't know. It makes me so happy. Up next, I have another backpack. I have a lot of backpacks, but this one is also a convertible backpack. This is an MCM convertible backpack. So you can wear this as a backpack or as a shoulder bag. You just put the other strap onto here. Um, or you can attach like a longer strap and wear it as a crossbody. But it's super fun. It has a white pebbled leather, silver hardware. There's a back pocket right there. And I love that it's kind of like a Kelly style. So it's like kind of belted on the sides and has a top handle. Turn lock opens up. You have one front pocket right here. And then the interior is just in a beautiful microfiber lining. There is a little bit of a stain right there on the bottom. But otherwise, the bag is in really great shape. The leather on the outside is in really nice condition. It just has a little bit of rubbing on some of the corners. Um, I can't... I'll, I'll touch it up for you if anyone buys it. I'll touch up the corners before I send it out. So the corners will look really good as new. Uh, the hardware just has a little bit of marks on there. But otherwise, really nice shape. But there you go. MCM white convertible backpack. I know, Diana, the lag is so weird. It's unsettling. Okay, so this is our off-white pebbled leather MCM backpack with silver hardware. And this is how much we are in? Okay, this is $425. I'm going to do a little discount today, and I'm going to do $395. We're going to go under $400. $395 for the backpack, and that is item number 30 two and then 33 is gonna be up next so cute right um up next i forgot that i had these for a hot second these are in a dark, dark brown. So these are dark brown Chloe boots. And they are beautiful. They have like this fun buckle detail on the side. I think these are the Paddington boots. Like it's, it has the same hardware as the Paddington, I think. Um, they're dark brown. They have a wooden heel right here, which is about three inches or two and a half to three inches. And these are in a size... 39 so size 39 chloe boots they should fit like a size eight eight and a half and the leather's in pretty good shape not too much wear on them maybe just a couple little marks like towards like the front of the shoe uh and then it has like antique or no it's more like a brushed gold hardware Thanks, Diana. Okay, so this is our dark brown pebbled leather Chloe, we we'll say it's Chloe Paddington, um, boots with brushed gold hardware, size 39. And these we're gonna do for $95. And that is item number 33. Okay, um, up next, what do we have? Let's do... Oh, we only have two more items left. My Mr. Coach again walking and making a reel. Oh, nice! You're like the queen of reels, I love it. Okay, um... Let's do, uh, I don't even remember which one. Oh, it was like the little crossbody bag. Um, Boy, she wants to see it. Oh. Tanya, it's just this little coach. I think you've already seen this one. Just a little crossbody flat bag. It's not like a vintage style or anything. This is like a newer one. Uh, 
Next up, what should I do? Oh, let me do the Reese bag. Or what's it, Reese? What was this? Um, Sandro, Sandro. Um, I'll show you guys the Sandro bag, because I really, really like this one. It's a... It's like an off-white perforated leather. It has like a diamond pattern in it. This is a Sandro flat bag with gold hardware. And it has a back pocket right there. And then it has this cool hardware. You actually turn it like this, and then this pops off. And then here is the interior. The interior is a really pretty navy blue color. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but this is a navy blue microfiber. We also have the dust bag right inside, and there's just one interior pocket. This bag is in like new condition. It's in really great shape. Um, it's more like, it's like an off-white. It's not like a white-white. It has like a little bit of a, like a, like a creamy color to it. So, I, I can't really explain it, but, like, um, it looks like the bag was, like, kind of, like, only, like, the inner corners are, like, a white-white, and then outside of it, like, with the perforated portions are in kind of, like, a creamy white, if that makes sense. So, uh, this is going to be our next item. And there's the hardware. It's really pretty. It's in really good shape. And this is 34, our diamond perforated leather Sandro flat bag with gold hardware. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Alright, this one's $80. That's our Sandro bag. There she is again. So, so pretty. And our last item for the evening, we're going to go to 35. And then, oh yeah, Kathy, Marshmallow. That's pretty, that's the perfect color name. Um, but I'm finally going to go eat because I'm hungry. That's all I can think about. Let's do... What do I want to do? Did I show all this other stuff already? Okay. Let's do... Our let's do this guy. This is our um, Hermes coin pouch. It's in a beautiful pink. It has silver hardware. The hardware is in really good shape. It doesn't have any like scratches or marks on it at all. And the leather is in really good shape too. It just has a tiny little like mark. I don't even think it shows up that well on camera. But it's like a tiny little mark right there. Here's the interior. It's like nice and clean. It's like an origami style. And it just has a nice snap right there. The snap works beautifully. And then there's like the Hermes um, Paris Made in France stamping right there. Beautiful. Oh, Paula. Yeah, I've had Pinko handbags in the past. Pinko is great. Their bags are beautiful. Pinko bags are really nice. And the I think the resale value of them is pretty good, too. Uh, so this is our pink. I think this is also an Epsom leather. Hermes coin pouch with silver hardware. How much is this, And this one is 185 Oh, it looks like Dorothy is calling number 19, which is our Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, the Me Rebecca Minkoff this guy. Congratulations Woo. for that Rebecca Minkoff. So, so cute, Dorothy. You're going to love it. And then that um, Hermes piece was our last item for the day. And now let me um, put up the link again one more time for our giveaway. And let me put that up. All right, so there's the link for the giveaway. Um, isn't it so pretty, Shiloh? It's such a pretty little pouch. The cute little coin pouch. And we're going to be announcing our winner. So, 
And again, our next uh, live sale is going to be Saturday night, and we're going to celebrate National Handbag Day, which is going to be on um, Monday, October 10th. And I don't know, I'm going to figure out something fun and special to do. If anything, I'll do like a really great giveaway that night. Um, but it's going to be, I don't know, it's always going to be fun to see you guys regardless. So, um, oh, Sarah's calling the Dagny Dover. Okay, congratulations, Sarah S. The Dagny Dover puffer bag, congrats. That one is really cute. Let's mark that one. Soul or Dagny Dover. Okay. And let me move that one over as well. All right. Well, where's my camera? Okay. Got my camera. Let me get the YouTube random comment picker up. Huh? All right, everyone say hi to the live. Um, I got my YouTube random comment picker up. got my video linked. And we'll get our replies. And we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Oh, there's Monica Sanders. Monica Sanders, congratulations. I put candy in a bowl outside on the porch. No other decorations. <laughs> Monica, congratulations. Um, you are the winner of today's giveaway. Let me just pop this up onto, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. Um, let's pop that up on there. Monica Sanders, congratulations. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. Monica Sanders, congratulations. You are the winner of today's giveaway. Um... Monica, if you could just send me an email with all your info so we can ship that out to you. Um, and, but I actually, wait, actually, I think we have Monica's info. So, Monica, regardless, we'll just send this out to you because I'm pretty sure we have your info according to Adrian. So, they, oh, there you are. Thank you, Monica. If you could just send me an email just so I know I have it um, on there. Just let me know that you are the winner of the Kipling and we'll get that out to you. Um, and... As far as uh, shipping the items, the items that were purchased today will be shipped out this coming week, starting Monday. Um, unless you, get, you really need something shipped out, just make sure to let me know. But we should have the invoices sent out within the next 15 minutes. And again, our next live will be on Saturday. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to figure out what we're going to do that night. But just know we're celebrating. So, um, But thank you guys so much. I'm going to go find something to eat and finish up those curtains um but goodbye thank you congratulations again monica bye Edie, sarah s dg house tanya tanya have fun at the dentist hannah a happy birthday again to your mom um bye mama miss Lang, um paula um dodo bird oh maryland um jay sweets norma hipatia lady badger um uh, brina and jag if you guys are on here still um, Dorothy, uh, Odelia, Shiloh, welcome again, Shiloh, for your first live sale. Hope you had fun. But I love you guys so much. If I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry, but I'll see you guys all in the next one. Um, new video should be up tomorrow at 7 a.m. And again, live Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. All right, bye guys. See you later. Bye.